co-owner of a nationally renowned children's bookstore has passed away. Tom Braun died last week, four years after being diagnosed with Alzheimer's. Braun and his business partner co-owned the Wild Rumpus Bookstore in Linden Hills. It's known for being a magical place full of books, toys, and live animals. As Susan Elizabeth Littlefield shows us, Tom didn't just build a store, he built a community. Just off the shores of Lake Harriet is the quaint yet bustling neighborhood of Linden Hills. From dining to shopping and simply savoring life, it's the neighborhood Tom Braun helped flourish. So Tom was uh, not only kind of like known as a little bit of the mayor of Linden Hills, he was also one of the ones that first saw the kind of the vision of what Linden Hills could be. Tom's friend and fellow business owner reflects on the man he deeply respected, the man he will never see again. Tom always had a funny word, a kind word. He's always a very a gentle soul. You could see him on the street. He'd always come up and you'd always have an interesting conversation. Wouldn't be about the weather, wouldn't be about this. He'd come up, make a comment. He'd tease you a little bit. Dan's architectural firm is right next door to the perfectly peculiar and magical bookstore known as the Wild Rumpus, named Best of Minnesota by WCCO in 2012. Tom and his business partner owned the store together. We actually looked at a lot of bookstores before we opened, and we were both put off by the primary colors, the, oh, yeah, the, the little train sets, and the and yeah, plastic. <laughs> yeah. Tom lost his life to Alzheimer's, but his legacy will live on in the most whimsical of ways. Tom will be remembered at the end of the month at the Walker Arts Center. Instead of flowers, his family is asking people donate to climate change research or Alzheimer's research. In Linden Hills, Susan Elizabeth Littlefield, WCCO 4 News. Everyone in that area knew him. Absolutely. He'll be missed. Yeah. yeah. Well,